This last poem begins with a quote. I know I am because I said I am. Mary Lambert. I was 12 when I first used the word queer to describe myself to a girl in my computers class. My tongue tripped over the Q like it was a shoelace. So I made her swear on her holy pre-algebra textbook that she wouldn't tell anybody. She wouldn't tell anybody. She wouldn't tell anybody. She told the guy she'd been dating for three days. <laughs> that guy told all of his friends. His friends started leaving bastardized Bible psalms in my locker. I had to suppress the memory of my combination. I had to suppress the idea of being open. I had to carry my weight on my own. I like to think I became all the right kinds of shadow, all the right kinds of ugly girls I had never even met before asked me if I had crushes on them and a traffic jam started in my chest. I was told I was disgusting on a regular basis and my jaw turned to barbed wire in my head. They shoved me around in every class and I bruised like pomegranates. But I never looked away. I never struck back. Maybe I was all the right cowardly. Maybe I was all the right brave. And now people aren't sure what to make of this. Me. I am so young, I shouldn't be so sure of my weathered heart. And three years later, I saw the girl who outed me in a supermarket. She looked at me like I was a plane crash. She couldn't look away from my reflections in the freezers. Perhaps I am a plane crash. A travesty, a tragedy to all of mankind. But at least there were no, there were no casualties. At least. We all made it out alive, at least at the end of the day. I can look at the aftermath and say, I made it. I do not need to confirm if I'm gay or if I'm not. What I need to do is be proud of myself, all these kinds of myself, because after all, I know I am because I said I am. I know I am because I said I am. I know I am because I said I am. Yeah. Mm.